What's going on everybody? It is Zero Jump Shot here with another video. Yes, this is a Phillies jersey. It's just a Bryce Harper jersey though, so not a Phillies fan, not jumping ship, just wearing it for because I got it. But um So you might be asking me a lot of questions right now. Why is this camera quality so crisp? Um I can actually make it better. I could, but I don't know if I want to mess with my camera right now. It looks fine. So why is it so crisp? Because I'm using my actual camera and I have it in a really good spot right now. Uh, this took me, let's see, it's 612. Uh, this probably took me, I don't even know, probably like, maybe like a half an hour to an hour. I got home at like, I got home at five did seat around for a bit this probably took me about a half an hour set up because i have it it's like it's got like a clamp setup thing and it like it like screws on to like the desk but like i couldn't like i couldn't get it in the spot where i had it initially because um the desk isn't long enough so are the sorry the clamp isn't long enough because like the way the desk is set up it's like um I don't know, it's weird. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna button this up a little bit. Because, uh, it looks a little bit less trashy if I button it up. But anyways, to answer all the other questions, what are we doing here? Uh, as you see in the background, I have Fire Pro Wrestling World up here. I've been addicted to this game, like, the past, like, week. Um, so, honestly, I just wanted to get my face cam into a video. And I just wanted to show you guys something cool. There's no sound with this. There is like music in this game. Um, let me get this last button here. Eh. It's my first time wearing this, so everything's a little weird. Bear with me, please. I am so sorry. Um, this is my first time actually like doing this, so um, I'm gonna turn the sound on one second. Sorry, I have to like switch scenes. Um, oh, <laughs> I'll turn my speakers off so I don't have to hear the sound. So, okay, basically what this game is, is it's a wrestling game um, and I'm secretly into wrestling. I don't know if anyone knew that, but um, I like it a little bit. So it's kind of cool. Um, it reminds me of like playing the old WWE games where you could like do like a, what's called the general manager mode where you can like sign your own people build your own promotion or essentially like in that game you would take over one of the existing promotions but in this game we're making our own promotion i've i've already made one and i'm in year five so we're just gonna jump into that i'm just gonna kind of show you uh like an example of how this game works because it's so addicting like once i got started it was hard for me to not play it so it's basically in this fire promoter mode, which is DLC that you have to buy. Um, I have my ZJW, so you can see we're in year five, month six. Uh, we're based out of America. I have $87 million. No, I did not use any cheat codes. I, like I said, we're in year five. I played this game a lot. Um, so popularity, this goes from America, Japan, Latin America, Europe. Uh, so a race in America, we have S popularity, which is the highest. B popularity in Japan, that's because I started doing shows in Japan so that I could boost popularity elsewhere. Um, D and D in Latin America and Europe respectively, because I haven't done anything over there yet. We are a showman, production, showman style promotion, which uh, showman essentially what that is, is what WWE is. It's more for entertainment purposes than actual wrestling. Uh, we are the first ranked promotion and we are playing on easy because it was my first time ever playing so and then i progressively got better as i went on so i'm just going to show you the gist of everything so we've got the event tab where you can either book your event invite wrestlers from other promotions loan a wrestler to another promotion do a cross promotion event with another pro uh, promotion i'm gonna move myself here quick i'm gonna have to get that fixed so i don't have to keep uh, coming off but uh there's that and then um you have the management tab so this is your training center um this basically just shows you everything you have i could repair all this stuff right now but it's it 
clicking and clicking and stuff it's just it takes forever so um i have everything maxed out because each like certain thing has its benefits so like the gym uh increases your maximum number of wrestlers so i have the max amount sandbag increases your attack medicine ball defense grappling dummy attack and defense so on so on clinic increases uh injury recovery speed so like that's really helpful because injuries happen a lot so then next we have merchandise so this is kind of cool um they have this feature where you can you can produce merchandise um you can essentially just pick the amount that you want and it'll depending on how many people you draw in at your show you'll sell it uh, and like so this one says sponsor benefits cost 10 percent off so i have a sponsor that actually i can get blue i can uh, produce blu-rays dvds for a cheaper price um like i pay less so uh they're usually more than this so i usually just go with five thousand for each of these a uh, thousand masks normally but this one was kind of like doing really good so i did three thousand and then good uh, branded snacks and goods i usually do about ten thousand this one i did twenty thousand that's why there's still eight thousand left uh so then sponsor contracts you can go and see like what sponsors you have uh what they do for you and like uh how it works so like this one for this pharmaceutical company i cannot hold a death match so i don't uh, that wasn't really part of my scheme anyways uh, broadcast contracts so you can get a contract from um broadcast companies to uh like show your show essentially on like television so like this one i have i have it for a month left and uh i it's national and then i have another one that's national uh that goes for nine months so um then next up so you have your human resources tab um you can send scouts out uh, we got Takahiro, Shin Bito, Carlos Velez, Marty Sakota, and Mr. Question. Uh, they all have their preferred style of scouting. So, like, he's better with Stoic and Freestyle. He's better on Strong and Showman. He's better on Lucha and Hardcore. He's better King's Road and Showman. And Mr. Question has no preference. Uh, so, it's really hit or miss with scouting. I've not had that good of luck with it. I've scouted good wrestlers in this, but some people aren't really that good to use stables um you can like set up your stables like i have face and heel your typical face and heel you can't see this um and then i have another team called force to be and then i have losers and good f's not sure why i call it good f's but uh, it's like force to be uh it's a baby face stable again you can't see this because i'm blocking it but broker contract i don't really know what this does um, I don't really mess with it. Training expedition. So, like, if you want, you can send somebody away to get better. And then consultation. Uh, this is where I'm going to show you my, my roster. Um, this is basically to, like, show you, like, um, uh, you can, like, click on someone and you can, like, change their salary or you can release them. So, we're going to go through the roster. Um, if you don't know who these people are, don't be surprised. There's a lot of them who I don't know who they are. I just saw them because of their stats. So... We're going to start off with Son of Havoc, um, or Havoc, I don't know. Uh, I think he, I want to say he's part of New Japan, but he could be part of ROH. I don't know. I don't really, I don't follow with other promotions, like, in actual wrestling much, so. He's a junior, which is what the J simplifies here, so that's why I have him, and he's a showman. Uh, Yuji Nagata, um, I've heard a lot of good about him. He's from New Japan, uh, hailing out of Japan, which you can't see. Um. I'm gonna move myself again. I'm gonna make it smaller. Move myself over here. Make this a little bit better. All right, because there's nothing up here that you need to see, anyways. So Yuji Nagata, um, as you can see, oops. As you can see with Yuji Nagata, he has an S attack, which is the best. A plus defense, very good. Um, he's S popularity in Japan and America, which is really nice. So uh, he's one of my main guys. Uh, Texano Jr. I don't know who this is either, but he's got S popularity in America, and he's a showman, so it works very well. Little, little Guido, uh, he started with S popularity in America, but I think what happened was, uh, in the business, uh, there's a term called, if you don't know, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, like, my audience on YouTube is, like, hit or miss with what is what, so, like, 
I don't know if m any of you know what wrestling is or many of you like the terms and stuff like that. So I'm just going to kind of explain it. Uh, there's a term called jobbers. Basically, jobber is someone who is thrown into a match uh, to basically get beat so the other person can go over, which means to like have a better showing so they can get uh, their popularity boosted. Um, and essentially, that's what was happening to little Guido. He was getting <laughs> jobbed uh, in the junior division. So, yeah. Uh, Scott Steiner, everybody knows who he is. Same way his popularity is low too because he was getting jobbed. Not on purpose, it just ended up happening that way. Um, Daniel Bryan, if you're a WWE person, you know who he is. Austin Aries, who's actually from Milwaukee. Um, he's pretty decent. He's another junior, which is another reason why I have him. Also another showman. Um, Pentagon Jr., I think he's from Lucha Underground. I'm not entirely sure. Um, again, another showman. Very popular in Japan. Uh, popular in Latin America as well. Seth Rollins, uh, WWE people know who he is. Uh, really popular guy. And Helico, <laughs> again, I can't remember where, he's, where he fights. I think he's might, he might be in AEW, honestly. Or he's in Lucha Underground. One of the two. Very popular in Latin America. I'm guessing he's in Lucha Underground. Rob Van Dam, another classic WWE guy. Brock Lesnar, uh, as popular in America, which is great. Triple H, WWE guy. Ricardo Luis, don't know who this guy is at all. Uh, and as you can tell, his popularity in America is D, and that's because every time I have him in America, I put him in a junior match, because he's a junior and he always loses. <laughs> so I stopped booking him. So, yeah, I don't know. Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, again, if you know WWE, you know Shinsuke, Raven, uh, former ECW, so another WWE affiliation essentially, um, hardcore champion, ECW main, he was on WWE actually back in the day, but, and The Undertaker, most people know who he is, very popular, Matt Robinson, so Matt Robinson is a uh, default character in the game, I think I have five of these on my team, or my roster, um, a lot of them are coming up here. Uh, he is the biggest jobber on this roster, and I say that because I put this guy up in title matches all the time, and he loses every single time. That belt he has, which you can kind of see, he has it because he won it because I sent him to a different promotion with another guy, this Mickey Williams guy, and um, they won a tag team belt over there. Not sure how, but they did. And then Alan Brown, I think he's a real guy. Uh, he's somehow a junior. Um, looking at him, he doesn't look like he's a junior, but I guess he is. So I use him in all my junior matches. Uh, Bill Bullock, another uh, random default guy. Another junior as well. Uh, a popularity in America because he wins a lot of title matches because he's a junior. So he's not that good in stats wise, but Mickey Williams, another default guy. Uh, he's got an A popularity. He's a showman. Um, his attack and defense are nice, which is helpful because he wins matches with that. Thomas Walker, another default guy. Uh, his stats kind of went down. He was a little bit better before, but, you know. And then Kevin Owens. Uh, again, if you know WWE, you know Kevin Owens. Really popular name. Uh, Steve Austin, Stone Cold. Um, this is, like, stunning Steve Austin is what he was called, like, back in, like, his debut days. So, I mean, he's popular everywhere, so it's really nice. David Houston is another um, auto-generated like default guy. Um, he holds one of our junior belts that we have, actually, that we got from another promotion. Uh, and he is only C popularity. So, in this case, this would be someone who I would want to run on the card more against somebody like Ricardo Louis, who's a jobber that I want to over someone. So, we'll see how I do that. Nick Jackson. Um, I, <laughs> I can't stand this dude. He wins a junior belt. And then I get it off of him. And then I need a junior to face another junior. So I put Nick Jackson in there and he ends up winning it anyways. So it's like, it's hit or miss, this guy. Cody Rhodes, uh, AEW guy. If you know what AEW is, big name. Um, his father, Dusty Rhodes, used to be a wrestler in WWE. So Jack Howard, another default guy. Not very popular. Pretty popular in Japan, though, because he won a couple titles when we booked over there. So uh, he was a big name. We did a lot of... Um, junior matches over there uh, and then next up here we have uh, on this list we have Eric Young who is uh, if you know like from like WWE and TNT of course not TNT TNA um, he uh, 
he was like a big like main he was more popular in tna than he was wwe i think at least i feel like in wwe he wasn't really used very well joey ryan don't know what he's from but all i know is there's a lot of a lot of jokes made about him hence why his name is king of dong style <laughs> so i can't remember what promotion he wrestles with. i want to guess it's probably roh but i'm not sure uh he used to be very over in america but i guess he's been jobbed as well but he has a belt so i don't really know and then carl anderson um good brother other uh used to be in wwe then he was part of uh new japan well, he was New Japan, WWE, and now he's an Impact again, I think, or he was an AEW, something like that. I don't know. But that's my roster. Um, I got a lot of people. Generally, you don't have as many people, and I have guys like Triple H who are getting paid $30,000, and that's a lot. So that's that. Um, and then records and help. You can go to see, like, where your promotion is at right now. So this is us. S popularity, B, D, and D. Mostly showmen. We have some lucha, some hardcore, and some strong. Um, we have 17 belts, 31 out of 60 wrestlers. Um, you can check stats. So basically, all this does is you can just see what we were just seeing before. Uh, title belts, this shows us the belts that we have. Um, we have, well, no, it's actually all the belts. So we hold this one because we have Seth Rollins. This is our belt as well, our junior belt, um, our six-man tag belt. And then if you scroll down, uh, AEW Heavyweight, we have their belt, and Scott Steiner has it. Um, and then David Houston's the New Japan Junior Heavyweight. Uh, that's also that's the belt he won in Japan. <coughs> um, and then the Undertaker is the TNA Impact Heavyweight title holder. So we have that belt as well. And then at Helico, Lucha Underground Junior Heavyweight. We got him from Lucha Underground, so that's why he has that belt. And then Ravens, the ECW heavyweight. He was with ECW, and then they went bankrupt, so we signed him <laughs> with the belt. Um, and then Yuji Nagata has the DFW, which is an uh, auto-generated promotion, and he's had it for a while. Three wins. And then Austin Aries, and then our guys, Mickey and Matt, and whatever. And then you can see, like, you know, like, your ranking and all the certain things. Like, we're number one in everything. Um, advice, like someone might want more pay um like our wrestlers are satisfied stuff like that so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and i'm gonna show you how to uh basically how you're gonna book a card so you go to book event standard event normal match because we can't do death matches um so we're super over in america and we have so much money so i always do tv commercial now so we get as most people as possible um when you're starting off the best way to go about it is to do like you'll do america rural because it's smaller and then you can go either gymnasium or small hall depending on how much people you think you can fit in generally you'll start with gymnasium and then do like 20 dollars a ticket uh, and then uh, you can do random entry and then boom it'll just fill out your card for you these matches i hate because i'm never gonna put an eight man tag team match on so uh, i usually do america urban and then we go into arena because i've been able to i've unlocked that feature now and then sometimes i can get up to 80 dollars for a ticket or even 100 depending on what kind of show i put on so we're gonna get rid of this team match even with a match empty we still can sell out so that's pretty nice but what i like to do is like I'll like mess around with the card and like if you see up here uh, so like for example if you see it pop up blue that means that it helps us so like let's say I switch these two around so obviously that's not a match they want so now boom it's better again but like I switch around these two they don't like that so we do that so you kind of just like you gotta kind of like mess around with it um, for like this sake so main event we're gonna do a title match We'll throw Seth Rollins' belt on the line against, um, I don't know, The Undertaker, I guess, because he's, I think, I'm pretty sure he's over in America. Yeah, so he is as popularity in America, so he's somebody who I would want fighting. But, however, he has a belt already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put Texano Jr. up against him, because Texano does not have a belt. And Texano was also S popularity in America. So we're going to do those. They don't like that, but that's only 15 people. And we'll f 
we can fix it up somewhere else. Um, so now what I will do is I will take like Eric Young and I'm going to take him out and put in someone who's popular. Um, let's see, do I have any S popularity guys left? Probably not because I think, well, Triple H is A and he's got good stats. So, um, and then we'll move him further down on the card. We'll like him Brock Lesnar. Um, and then, so another thing is so like Yuji Nagata is a strong style fighter. So what we will do is we will go and we'll throw, um, we'll take our other strong style guy that I know of, Daniel Bryan, uh, and then I will swap him with Joey Ryan, and then you can actually go and configure the match style, and you can change it from showman to strong. You will lose people, but here's the thing. So when you have people that are strong style or a different style and you're showman promotion, your matches are all going to automatically default to showman but when you switch it from showman to strong it it's better for your um your wrestlers because they're more accustomed to fighting a strong style match so you'll draw a better rating which will then lead to more popularity essentially so then um now we have another spot to fill i'm noticing so we're gonna throw in another popular name um, so I'll put the Undertaker back in because he, I took him off. Oops, sorry. Um, so, uh, Ricardo Louis. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Louis and I'm going to take David Houston and I'm going to make this a title match uh, because I want Ricardo to win, a, <laughs> win something because he's really doing terrible and i don't know he he hasn't been doing as good as i thought he should be and then so raven uh has that ecw belt and matt robinson usually puts people over so we're gonna give matt robinson a title shot and see if he can finally win a belt um i don't want to start off with taker and shinsuke though because they shouldn't be starting so we're gonna put them down here and put these guys up here um essentially i put people up top who i don't want to actually have a good match is the way that's the way i do it um i don't know uh jack howard can go up top and i'm gonna take son of havoc off the card because he kind of sucks lately um uh we're gonna put rob van dam on the card so rob van dam cody rhodes undertaker shinsuke raven matt robinson i don't want two of our same guys fighting each other Bill Bullock's not very popular. Actually, he is a. Never mind. Maybe Jack's one that's not popular. Yeah, Jack's a C. So I'll throw Steve Austin on the card because he has more popularity. And this was a rivalry once before. Because that's another thing. Rivalries can happen. Oh, and I think actually here's what I might do. I'm gonna do this because um, Nick Jackson has a belt that I don't want him to have. That's another guy who I need to get a belt off of. So, we're going to run this card, um, and uh, yeah, so once you're done, if, if that's all you want to do, then you'll hit confirm match card, and it'll just bring you back to this screen, and what I like to do is save, because I had an issue before where when I didn't save, I lost everything, but it actually benefited because my promotion is really good now. So, go back up to the top to proceed, finalize decisions, yes. Um, because I've done my merchandising and everything. And now we're into the June event. So now it's going to show you up at the top here. Um, if you did actually sell out. Which we did. So now what I like to do is I like to hit save again. Just in case. And we're going to skip every match. Because we don't need to watch anything. Um, I know this part might get a little loud. I don't know. I don't know what my sound is at for desktop. It should be okay. Okay. So, so somehow this match was 100%. So your goal, you want to have the highest rated match as possible. Because the higher rated the match, the better the card turns out. Again, another 100% match. Guessing because he he's defended the title now for probably uh, nine straight times. Because I keep trying to get it off of him and he doesn't lose. So I'm going to have to find a really good junior that can do that. And we got another 100% match. I had a card the other day that was yesterday, actually yesterday, sorry, that was 100% all the way through, and then 
so now he wins okay so this is this is what's funny so in that card that was all 100 percents matt robinson drew with the guy that he was fighting for the belt so no one like there was really no winner or loser so the guy who had the belt kept the belt and matt robinson didn't get it now he wins and it's still a bad match that's crazy that's crazy um so now we got shinsuke and i think it was undertaker i don't remember yep so shinsuke over undertaker and now it's Cody Rhodes against Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam over Cody Rhodes. 94. It's not bad. Better than the 87 match. Matt. <laughs> All right. And then this match. No way. He won too? This is like a special edition like card. I'm geeking out a little bit here. But it's funny because these guys have been so bad. Like Matt Robinson and Ricardo, I put them up every single time in a title match or even a regular match, and they still lose. So it's like, I just don't get it. Brock Lesnar, Triple H. This is a big match. This probably won't be 100, though. Yeah. It's it's hard because he's hardcore style and he's showman. So actually, no, Brock's strong, I think. And then the heavyweight title with Rollins and Texano. This was an interesting match. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't going to go that way. I wanted to see Rollins defend the title again, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that guy kind of looks like Aaron Donald, too. It's kind of funny. So, Texano, this is like a little like uh, news headline thing. Tells you who wins, blah, 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 blah. So, we sold out big time, 97% rating. This will boost our popularity. We're already at S popularity, so can't really go up any higher. And then this just kind of shows you like across the other promotions, like what's going on. So, we have 95 million dollars available we want we earned 7 million in that uh that match there um and then this so what this means um we don't actually have a tournament scheduled so since this game is actually um originally like J uh, japanese like a japanese made game it's translated to english and the translation gets a little bit messed up so essentially this is just saying like we can loan wrestlers to aew so that's that so now you go into the next year and it kind of you just start all over again so like in this case now our broadcast expired uh shin found makabe in japan marty found scorpio in america raven salary and helico um so now like with raven and angelico salary what we'll do is we'll go here and we will find like raven change salary i just usually put it up all the way because i can afford it and then a helico salary he's getting paid a lot but again we got 95 million so and i did see that they scouted um um scorpio in america so that would be too cold scorpio or scorpio sky action never mind so uh, as you can see so that's what happens is like they scout people and um you go and check them so makabe was the other one uh, he's he's over in Japan, so I'll consider that if I want to sign him. But essentially, that's just how this works. Um, super fun, in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoy playing it. So I don't know. I just figured I'd make a video on this because I got really excited that I got my camera set up and I thought it looked cool. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and by the way, I hope you are all enjoying the Three Sport Podcast episodes as well. Um, I didn't upload one to YouTube last night because I didn't have video because I didn't have this set up and I didn't like feel good recording video so just didn't do it so but again thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoy i hope everyone has a great new year and um yeah just keep watching the channel and more good videos like this should come your way soon thank you